you're interested in this, you want to try it out, you can go ahead and download it. Uh, the only thing is that you do need to create like a Cisco account in order to download it. But yeah, other than that, it's free. So yeah, this is Cisco Packet Tracer. Here at the bottom left, um, you can see that they have like all these different devices that you can configure. So for network devices, they have all these routers, uh, they have these switches, uh, hubs, all these other wireless devices. Uh, for end devices, they have like computers, laptops, phones, TVs, uh, like smart doors, smart fans or whatever, like, you know, all these different devices that you can kind of, you know, mess around and play with. But in this video, uh, we're just going to be messing with network devices, switch, and this one, we'll just drag and drop it, place it on there. And then you can just click on it, and then it shows like the physical switch here. Um, here, this they have these different modules that you can just kind of drag and drop onto these. Oops, open slots. Uh, you got to turn off the switch right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they they have these different modules that you just kind of drag and drop into these open slots uh, if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the switch on and start configuring it. So we'll come to the command line interface and we'll start typing in the commands to set it up once it comes on. So for this video, we're just going to do some just basic uh, setup. I want to change the name of the switch. I want to set up a password and maybe like a little message that pops up when you first connect to it and turn the switch on. So yeah, um, this video may be pretty short, um, maybe we'll see. So yep, yeah, we'll press return to get started. And as you can see right now, the switch is just named switch and I want to change that. So what you can do is press the question mark and that brings up a list of commands that you're able to do. So the command we want right now is this enable command. It turns on a privileged commands. Uh, it basically gives you like admin, I guess, access to it. So we'll type in enable. And as you can see, the greater than symbol changed into the number sign. And if we press the question mark again, you'll see we'll have quite a bit more commands available to us. So in order to change the name, we need to enter configure mode. And we can do that by starting up with this configure command. Now some commands have like multiple parts. So we type in configure, hit question mark, and it'll tell us what other like commands we can add to it. So we have this terminal command. You gotta do that. Configure terminal, hit enter. And as you can see, we are now in configure mode. It added this little configure part to it. Uh, some commands can actually be shortened. So if we exit out, right, and instead of typing configure terminal, you can just do config T, and that's the exact same thing. Yeah, so certain commands can be shortened. All right, and if we hit the question mark for our list of commands, you can see we got some different ones. The one that we need is this one, host the name set systems network name so we're going to type in host name uh, uh, another thing is that when you're typing in like a command you can actually hit tab and it'll autofill it as well <laughs> so that's nice yep so we need host name and we'll name the switch asmr all right and once we hit enter you'll see that the switch name gets changed. 
ASMR. So an important thing that you need to remember is that any changes that you make to the switch does not get automatically saved. You have to like manually save it. So if we were to just leave the switch like this and say there was like a power outage or something, right? So we'll just turn off the switch here. Say there's a power outage, turn the switch back on. The changes we had made do not get saved. So the switch name will revert back to its default since we did not save it. Yep, there we go, switch. So let's go ahead change the name of the switch back and we'll make the uh, we'll save it so we'll do enable to gain access to admin commands config t to enter configure mode and then host name asmr and then exit so the switch has like two configure files there's the startup config and the running config any changes you make get saved to the running config, but when the switch gets like restarted, you know, when it first turns on, it takes the startup config, gets all that information, and puts it into the running config. So any changes we make, we need to save to the startup config. So if we do like show running config, you'll see right here that our host name is correct. It is ASMR. But if we show the startup config, yeah, the startup config is not present. So it's just the default of the startup config. So we need to save this running config into the startup config. We can do that by doing copy the running config into the startup config. So copy running config, startup config, or center, enter again, and there we go. Now, if we do show startup config, instead of getting this message saying it's not present, we will get this, yeah, and host name is correct. And so if we restart the switch, you can type, uh, you can do that in the command line by typing in the reload command. So we'll restart the switch. And when it starts up, you'll see that the name is correct. It's saved. There it is. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a password. Because right now, anybody can, like, connect to this, type in enable, and get access to, like, the admin commands. And I don't want that. You know, I want this to be secure and safe, so I want to add a password. So, to do that, again, we go into the configure mode. So, config T. And this time, we're going to, again, do the enable command. Because it modifies the password parameters. So we'll do enable password and then we'll set the password to subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Alright, so enable password subscribe and that adds the password. So if we just save that, so copy uh, running config startup config. Oh, actually, yeah, whatever, we'll save it. Uh, we don't need to restart the switch. We'll just exit out. And so now if we type in enable, you can see it asks for a password. Subscribe. Yeah, so when you're typing in the password, you won't actually like see what you're typing in, but it's fine. Just type it in, hit enter, and it'll let you in. <laughs> All right, so we got a password. But if we do the show running config, you'll see our password is right there, just in plain text. And I don't want that. I want it to be kind of like encrypted and just not showing up in plain text. So first what we're going to do is we're going to remove this password and then we'll, we'll redo it. 
but set it to be like encrypted. So in order to remove it, we'll go into config mode. And this time we're gonna enter this password command, but we're gonna enter no at the start. So instead of doing like enable password and then enter the password, we'll do no enable password. And then that's it. So basically this no just kind of negates um, this command that you enter afterwards. So now if we do show running config, our password is gone. That's great. So now let's go ahead and redo the password. Enter config D. And it's very similar, but instead of doing enable password, uh, if we check the available commands, you can see there's a different one available, secret. So we're going to do enable secret instead of enable password. So it's enable secret and then enter your password, which again, subscribe. All right, now if we exit out and show the running config, you'll see our password is there but it is not in plain text. It's all jumbled up, and that is exactly what we wanted. Now, I, uh, well, hold on first, let's copy running config, startup config, right? Just reload the switch. So, right now, it only asks for the password when you try to gain access to the admin commands, you can still just type in some of these, you know, basic commands available. I do believe there is a way to make it where you need a password, even to like enter these basic commands. But we're not going to do that in this video right now. Just some basic stuff. Um, yeah, I do believe there is a way to create a password required to use even these commands. But if we type in enable, that asks for a password. Uh, show running config. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to create like a little message or a banner that kind of greets me when I start up the switch. So the command we're gonna be using is, well, first we enter configure mode. The command we need is this one, banner. Define a login banner. So yeah, we're gonna do banner, and then we're gonna do message of the day, MOTD, and then here, the quotation marks, you can just type in uh, the message you want. So do hello there. I'll exit. I'll copy running config to the startup config just to save the changes. And then reload. And when it starts up, it should have the message hello there. Hit enter and yep. There it is. Hello there. All right, that's well and good, but I want to have a banner that spans multiple lines instead of just this one line that we have here. So let's go ahead and make the changes that we want. Subscribe. Yeah. Good, big team. So first thing we need to do is remove this message. So it's going to be no banner message of the day. There we go. And so now I want to add a new message that has, you know, multiple lines to it. So we're going to do banner message of the day. And now what we need to do is we need to set a character. 
is one that you're not going to be using in the message. So we can just set the act symbol. So whenever the banner or whenever the switch reads the at symbol, that's when it knows to stop the message. So we'll hit enter and now we can just start entering our text and then it'll stop once it reads the at symbol. So we can just do maybe that and now even if we hit enter, it still allows us to continue typing in messages. So we'll just kind of create this little text box in here. And then for the message, uh, thank you. Um, for watching. Now you do want to make sure um, you do the lines correctly because I don't think there's a way to like go back. Yeah, thank you for watching. Center this a bit. Yeah, that's that's good. And just kind of like that. Uh, we'll do yeah one more. There we go. And so now that we're done, we can type in the at symbol since that's what we designated as the stop character. We hit enter, and now it's done. It stops. All right, so we'll go ahead and save those changes. And now let's reload. Um, been recording for almost 20 minutes. <laughs> Thought this video would be kind of short, but no, not really. All right, so now if we hit enter, yep, there is our message. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. But, yeah, for now, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you 